Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, we are working on this Volkswagen Polo GTI. This car is going for an MOT today, so I wanna get the whole front end done. I've got all the little bits and pieces, the little square bits that was missing, triangle bits, sorry. They were missing. Got those now, so that can all go back together um, and the car can be put on the road with a fresh MOT and then clean up for sale to be honest with you so yeah there we go so let's just get into it guys let's jump into it let's do this so yeah we are working on this today i want to get this bumper off um and then get it all back together put all the grills in properly get you know what i mean get it all sorted and then yeah this is going for an mot we've got to do some cleaning on this car as well um We've got to do some panels and put some put the sticker back on. Um, I want to make sure that it's all cleaned up properly. We can, you know, do my normal stuff in the insides. Oh, you can't really see that's pitch black. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, but yeah, normal stuff, guys, on these cars that I want to do. Yesterday was an absolute mammoth day. Got loads done, um, and yeah, just <laughs> got that Fiesta uh, up for sale yesterday afternoon that black one and um yeah it's it's in the morning um and someone messaged me last night and said he wanted to come have a look today this morning he come he turned up about half seven <laughs> in the morning to have a look at it and yeah he he bought it so that fiesta has now sold as well so it just seems to be going so quick at the minute but yeah not even 24 hours that I was up for sale and it's gone. Um, and, you know, I think it's fair price, to be honest with you. Sold that for um, three and a half grand. Uh, I sold that Black Fiesta for. So, yeah, 59,000 miles, 63 plate Fiesta, Z-Tech. I, uh, I think that's a fair price. I've seen them on like, all, all the rest of them, you know, eBay, Auto Trader. They're all going for like four, four and a half. So... Um, I think that's a fair price for that. And obviously, you know, the the guy that messaged me, um, you know, I said, go to the channel. You can see me fixing the cars. I'm not hiding it. It's all on there. I even done the advisory on the MOT. So, yeah, absolutely spot on car. And obviously, you know, with selling them privately at your own house, you, you, you know, it's not really much of a comeback. Uh, but with me, there's guarantees you know, people. You know, you know, is any problems with the cars? Bring them back, and I'll sort them out. But I don't really have any cars really come back to me, guys. To be honest with you, they don't. I don't really see them again once they're gone. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's move on to this. Also, got to be looking for another one today as well. Uh, I, there is an interesting car. I'll quickly mention it. There's a quick. There's an interesting car coming up for, on the auction today. Um, and it is a BMW um, 2 Series uh, Grand Tourer. So I might have a little little go at that. I don't know yet. I'll see what, let's see what it goes up to. If it, go, if it starts going up stupid money, then I'm not interested. But, you know, you never know. I will keep you informed on that one. Um, if I do win that kind of car, the next project that I do win, I will put it on my Instagram first. So if you haven't already, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and you can see little sneak peeks of what's coming up and what I'm doing and what I'm up to. But for now, let's crack on. Let's get this um, sorted, ready for the MOT and, yeah, have a good look over it. I've already, you know, looked at the tyres and, 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 and brakes and stuff and they're, they're all good. So let's just carry on um, and uh, let's get this one up to scratch and done. So let's do this.
right guys so yeah that's the bumper off it didn't take too long but uh these are the little pieces that are missing um and they go like there but they have to go underneath these trims here and that plastic there so this front's got to come back off that's got to be put back in place like that then this back in uh no sorry then the middle yeah then the middle grill in then this these two ends go in place after that so yep there we go just one of them things um i've got these little trims to go on as well around here so yeah we've got some bits and pieces to go on this bumper and i've got to still um do the uh washer jet because obviously the washer jet there is too low uh, because it's not connected to these pipes yet so yeah i've got to do that as well um so yep yeah again i'll set you up let's get this all stripped off get it all back together and then back on the car um so let's carry on guys and let's do this Right guys, just a quick update. Um, I'm fighting with this, this this trim, completely fighting with it. Done the little corners, they've gone in perfect. Um, managed to sort of flick these up and put them underneath. This one, this one is an absolute pain. So, I'm gonna have to leave it for now. Um, I'm running out of time. I need to get this to the MOT center on the time. I don't wanna let the guy down. And um, there's no reason why it can't go for an MOT just because that grill is missing. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to put it all back together, put it all back on, do my checks, go around the car, make sure everything's all right, um, and then get it for an MOT, bring it back, and then strip down these corners. So yeah, take these corners completely off, both sides, then put the middle in. It's just got to be done, guys. I cannot get it in. Cannot get that bloody centre bit in with these two end pieces in place so yeah that's what's got to happen um it's just one of them things I'd, I'd love to have just got it all done and completed and then mot and then i ain't got to worry about it after that but it just what a nightmare getting that in just struggling 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 and time is sort of just kicking away and i i just haven't got time to take these corners pieces out and then start again from fresh it's just yeah it just is what it is so let me set you up um and i'll get it all back together uh, we'll get it back on the car and then uh, we'll go from there and i'll and i'll show you around what we've done so yeah let's do this guys
Right, guys, this is this is this is going in the, the direction that this is never going to go for an MOT today. Now I've got a problem with the headlight. Um, the daytime running light is not working, uh, and the side light is not working on it as well. So unbelievable, literally. Just uh, I can't. And now I can't get the headlight out without taking the bumper back off, the tr the splash guard back off that I just put on. It's, it, and I just don't know if I've got time to do this today. I'm gonna to have to. Uh, I'm gonna to have to call it. I think because it's just it's just not gonna happen, guys. That that is crazy. That that was working as well. So there's obviously a problem there, and it's coming up on the computer as well. So if you see on the computer, it says the reports. Check left daytime running light, side light. So. I just don't think I've got the time to do it. I haven't got the time to do it today and you can't do it any other time but one o'clock. So, <sighs> unbelievable. I'll see if I can book it in tomorrow now. Um, and we've got to, get all these, got to get all these pieces sorted out. Um, I thought this was going to go so smooth. Honestly, thought it was going to go so quick. Just a few panels in. Uh, a few grills and then a few checks over the car, get it MOT ready, and that's it, it can go. But it's just thrown me a curveball, and yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. So I will um, keep you updated. Uh, I'll let you know what's going on. Um, but for now, um, <laughs> leave it with me and uh, let's see, because I think I'm going to have to take it all back out again. That's what it's looking like. So, yeah, I'll speak to the MOT guy and then um, I'll come back to you in a sec, guys. So, guys, just a quick update of what's going on. Um, yeah, I spoke to the MOT guy and basically cancelled it today because, um, yeah, it's not going to happen. So, because I need to get the headlight off and have a look at it, um, you know, the wiring's all there, the plugs are there. Why, why is it all of a sudden started playing up? They have got this... Uh, is, um, I don't know, even know what they are, headlight modules or whatever they are. Maybe that's an issue. Um, don't know. But it was working absolutely fine um, until I just literally bought it into here and now it's not working. Um, it just shows, you know, I honestly thought it was going to be a real nice, sweet day, really quick, just put that grill at the bottom in place, get and, and have a look, good look around the car and get it ready for the MOT. But... Just not happened that way. Um, yeah, it's my fault really because I was rushing it, and um, you know I thought, you know I thought I'd be able to get it done ready for the MOT t this morning. But uh, yeah, it's my fault. I should have uh, got the car ready first, and then MO got booked it in for the MOT. But we live and learn, and that's how we do. We learn. Um, but on a on a on a plus note today, uh, it wasn't. It's not been a complete waste of a day, to be honest with you, because I did manage to win another project, um, and I'll probably be picking that up on Monday. So that'll be Monday's video is the new project, guys. Um, so we can get into that. But for now, I do have to continue with this. I've got to take all <laughs> back off again. Um, uh, it shouldn't take that long, so I'll just get into it and let me see if I can work it out. I'll set you up and let's just go for it, guys. We've just got to continue and just do the reverse of what I've just done, really. Just take it all back to get back apart. So, yeah, let's do this.
Right, okie dokie guys. So as you can see, and you saw, it's all off. Um, the whole bumper's off again. <laughs> that ain't going back on unless that's completely right now and everything's back in place. And <laughs> Yeah, that ain't going back on yet. Um, yeah, so we've got a problem with the light now, the headlight, which is an absolute pain because that was well working, completely working. Um, and now it's stopped. So what I did was I checked, um, I swapped the lights over to see if um, this light would work on this side and it doesn't. And this light works on this side and it does. So there's definitely a problem with that actual headlight. Um, and I think it's to do with the ballasts. This is what they're called. They're called headlight ballasts. Um, one's to get the, the power and one's for the daytime running light. Um, Cause as you can see, it's got all numbers and that on it. And then the numbers there, type into eBay. And this is the thing that it is. Um, it's the correct number. And as you can see, it's the uh, daytime running light, LED power module unit. So what I'm gonna do, and they're only 50 quid for the, mod, for the, for the ballast, but it, it's an extra cost I didn't, you know, want to do but it is what it is guys I've got, to, I've got to get it done so if it's failed but what i want to do they don't look like they're paired so they don't look like it's left and a right it looks like they're the same um same way so what i want to do is i want to swap them over and then plug it back in and see if this is our problem um uh, it, it may well be that you know, it might not work because they are paired. I don't know, but I'm going to swap them. They look like they'll go the same way. So, I don't know. It's worth a try. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a go and swap them over. So, yeah, bear with me. Let me swap them over. I'll come back to you. Right, so, <clears throat> as you just saw there, guys, I've just taken these ballasts off the headlights to see if I can swap them over um, and, yeah, retest it and see if it works and see if what, what the problem is. But before I even <laughs> can try them again, I think I found the problem. So, basically, if I show you on this one, you can see just here... You've got three pins, one, two, three, on the left-hand side. But on this one, we've only got two. There should be a pin on the left-hand side of that, that three. There should be a pin. And this is the pin that it should be in there. Because I found that inside this block here the pin was stuck inside there so it's obviously uh, you know corroded or um i don't know what's happened to that but it's uh it's snapped off and there's no now connection there's no there's no point do you know what i mean to to connect to to to, to, to feed it um or whatever so that's that's got to be our problem that's definitely got to be our issue so what i'll do guys is i'll just I'll put, just to make sure, I will put the one <clears throat> that's good, this one here, I'll put that one in the headlight and uh, connect it up, and then I'll take it to the car, we'll try it over there, just to make sure that, that my theory is correct, but I think, yeah, it looks like that's going to be our problem, I think, but let's keep going, and let's just see if it is, so, yeah, bear with me guys, and I'll come back to you, um, and we'll put it on the car, so yeah.
Right, okay, guys. So, yeah, that, I think, proves that it was that little pin inside the ballast that has uh, come off, broke, split, whatever. But, yeah, I'll have to get a new ballast for um, for the headlight. Um, it's just, what a pain. Absolute nightmare. Just an absolute nightmare. Just because of a little pin. I made it do that, but, um, you know... It is what it is, I suppose. But I don't know if it was corroded or what it was, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely had it in there. So you can see it should be in there. And there's no way of... Um, I'm not even going to attempt to try and get into resoldering it or pinning it or, or whatever. I'm just going to get this one here. It's 50 quid. I know I have to wait for it, and it's another 50 quid, but... I think it's worth it, guys. Um, you know, it's uh, it just needs doing. So, yeah. Well, there we go. Um, I can't really put it all back together now until until we get that. Still could do the bumper. Still can do all those bits and pieces. Um, I could still do the inside. We could still give it a clean uh, and do bits and do other bits and pieces like that. So, yeah, probably do that. Um, yeah, probably do other bits and pieces as much as I can uh, until I wait for the, you know, bumper can't go on until I get the headlight back anyway because the headlight goes first, then the bumper. But it's just, we can still we can still crack on with other bits and pieces. Um, it's just a bloody shame, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I, and it's just my own fault. I should have just checked. I should have just left the MOT and just, just you know, Wait until it's all done, then put it, put it, put it for the MOT. That's what I normally do. But with this one, I, I don't know what it was. I just thought I, you know, don't know. Just probably rush it. I don't know. But here we go. Right, I'm gonna um, put them back together. Uh, take this one back off and put it back on the original, um, and then just wait for that one to be, to, to turn up. Um, I'll crack on with the bumper, guys, and the other bits and pieces. So yeah, let's carry on and let's do this. Right, guys, okay, so that's um, most of it in. Um, I've just got to push these two top corners in here a little bit more. I'm not quite happy with that. No way, that's got to go in a bit more. So both sides, you can see it sticking out. So, 
yeah, but again, I've run out of time. Um, it just seemed to sort of, yeah, <laughs> sort of really, um, time's just gone away from me today. So I'll have to leave it there. Um, and then we'll come back to this. Um, yeah, next week. This obviously Friday today, so I'll come back on this on next week. But we've got a, a new project to pick up on Monday as well, guys. So don't forget to, um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, and I'll do give you a, a sneak peek, a little picture of the new project on my Instagram account. Um, but yeah, Whew. but what a nightmare that light is. Um, it's just one of them things. It must have got water or something inside that's corroded the actual pin on that ballast. Um, it's just, just one of them things. It just happens. So just have to deal with it and change it over and, um, and carry on. But yeah, it's going to get there. And then obviously we'll have to get this. Hopefully that ballast, uh, ballast will turn up next week, early part of next week. And we can get this sort of wrapped up and, and MOT'd and finished. Um, next week as well, guys. But yeah, unfortunately, I've run out of time. I'd love to have carried on on the inside with this with this car as well, cleaned it all up, and you know, done all the hoovering and, and all that sort of side, and carried on. But I just haven't got the time. Just got to sort of call it there. So yeah, there we go. Right. <laughs> what an absolute pain this car's becoming to be. Uh, but I'll get there, guys. I'll do it. Don't worry. So there we go. Um, that is going to be the end of today's video. Um, yeah, hopefully um, you enjoy watching it. Guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That helps. So really appreciate that. Show your appreciation. Thanks very much. Um, have a great weekend. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you on Monday uh, where we'll be, I will show you the new project that I've got for the channel. Um, and yeah, see what you think about it. So let's... Uh, Let's have a great weekend. I'm going to spend some great time with the family at the weekend. Just chill out and come back and, uh, yeah, get cracking and carry on. So, yeah, thanks very much. See you soon.